Hey, what's up you guys? Today we're doing the little logo. Simple, sleek, colorful, and a little pop. So I wanted to do a logo based around a toucan because I really like them. They're really cool. They're very simply made. If you look at them, there's not much going on, just a lot of color. And I think I could turn it into a nice little minimal logo. So I'm looking through Google for some reference images. I like this one, so I'm gonna pop that into Illustrator. I found one, I found two, now I'm looking for a third, and I think that'll be the final one. So, I wanna find maybe something a little circular that's going for the kind of look that I want to help me out um, with the reference there. Um, maybe, uh, I think I, no, no. Wow, this one's perfect. If you see what I mean, like how it's in a circular motion, just gonna check if there's anything else. And I'm gonna grab this one, perfect. So these are the three reference images. Now I'm gonna go look for some uh, Fibonacci spirals. Now this is gonna help guide us to make our logo and our emblem super appealing to the eye. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking a circle from the top corner and dragging it out to fill each square. So it's gonna go from bigger to smaller, to smaller, to smaller, to smaller, to smaller, to smaller, to smaller. All right, so once we get these, we're gonna change the colors of each one just so that we could see the difference between the sizes when we're using them because when we use them, they're gonna overlap and there's gonna be cuts through them and we just wanna make sure that we know kind of a general which shape is which so we could avoid using the same one or use the same one. So now once we get these all different colors, we're gonna select them all and align them. We're gonna select them all and align them so they're neat and tidy in the corner and don't bother us as we're working. So now I'm gonna take the biggest one, which is the red one, and use this as the main body to the toucan. This will be our circle that we're gonna be working inside of. So then I'm gonna take a more, so then I'm gonna take a smaller one and now I'm gonna start building the beak. So what I did here is I align it to the center where I think I want to place the head of uh, the head of the beak, the head of the beak where it meets the, the bird's face, and um, then I took the same big red one as the body, and I'm using that for the bottom, and I'm also using it for the middle of the opening of the beak. So now I press Control Y, and what I'm doing here is I'm trying to find the points so I could line them up perfectly so that we don't have any jagged edges, and so that it is all smooth. Now, so you can see how things could get messy pretty quick. So what we want to do is we want to, once we start going a bit, we want to then break it down with the Shape Builder tool. So now this will help clear it up so we could continue building. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the Shape Builder tool. <clears throat> I'm going to select the color and I'm going to start breaking apart the parts of the bird and grouping them together. So we're just going to cancel out these outside edges, we don't need those, and you could already see that the bird is starting to form. Now if you don't see it yet, you will soon, trust me. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to, what am I going to do? Good freaking question. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a more medium sized circle and I'm going to start breaking um, the beak into sections. So. I know it's not going to look exactly like our reference image, but there are some things we want to change. We don't want everything to kind of look exactly like the reference images. Well, we want to make it our own. We want to have a little differentiation. So I'm breaking it down like this. This is just the way I decide to go about it. You don't have to choose to do it this way. This is just my interpretation of what I'd like to do. So I'm breaking it up into maybe three sections. And why I'm doing this is I'm going to make each section a different color. So I'm going to start building this up now with uh, different colors and using the Shape Builder tool. And why I'm doing that is because if I use the same color, I don't want the whole um, sections of the beach to start to merge together. 
So I'm breaking them into different colors. These are the colors I'm going to use in the end, but they're just there to help us right now in the meantime to really see um, each section on its own. And in the end, we're going to go in and put in the colors that we want to use and the final colors we want the toucan to be. So now we're still just fixing up, cleaning up the work here with the Shape Builder tool. And I'm just going to clean this out, outer section. And I think that's pretty good. Just going to fix one little part right here. Right here. And we're going to continue onward. So, if you can see that now, the beak is a bit more colorful, a bit more just appealing. So now what I want to do is I want to start to build the tail of the bird. And if you can see in the bottom reference image, it kind of just pokes out to the left straight. What I want to do is I want to change that a bit. I want to make it really fit into the circle. So I'm just going to curve it upwards a bit and kind of flow back into the beak. What I don't want to do is I don't want it to meet exactly at the bottom of the beak. So I am going to put this little gap there as you can see what I'm doing right now. And so we're just going to work this out a bit. I'm going to maybe make this a little longer in the middle and have the outer ones a bit shorter just to have a little bit of a contrast there. And let's just start to break the colors down a bit and see what might work and what might not work. See, so I don't think I want that. I think that's too smooth and I think I want to have this one a bit taller. But see, I don't want that one to touch the beak. So I'm going to separate them a bit and make the outer ones a bit smaller. So I'm going to eliminate this negative space and you can see that it's maybe starting to look a little better. So now we have something that's a little more fun, a little more playful, a little more dynamic. It's not too smooth but it's very simple and I, th I think this works. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the smallest circle and I'm going to use that for the eye. <clears throat> There we go, we just gotta get that on top. Perfect. So this is already looking great. I'm really happy with the way things are going right now. So I'm gonna take a medium sized circle and I'm gonna start to build the chest and the kind of face section where you see in the reference images how there's a separation of black to yellow. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start building that yellow space. I'm going to just simply use a few circles. I don't think I need anything more complex than that. And then I'm just going to take that same circle and use that to join them together. I'm going to press Ctrl Y to make sure they're lined up well. And perfect. So what I'm going to do now is that is going to allow it to be kind of smooth and have a little flowy motion as opposed to just making it straight or just making it dip into a sharp point. Now this one is what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this into a um, a wing. I'm going to start to use the shape builder tool and I'm going to section these things out. I'm going to make this a little bit of a different color so we can see it. And I'm really liking the way this is looking. So I'm going to take out these lines and just going to fix this up a bit more. Got to smooth this out a bit and use the eye and make it black and I think uh, I think we're ready to start coloring it there's some parts I want to fix up I really like this guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to color it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the eyedropper tool and I'm going to start to drop in those colors from the reference images into our own and start to really finalize our image. I like this orange. I'm going to use that for this section right here. And on top, oops, right here, I'm going to use maybe a yellow. I, I like that. Here, I'm going to use a green. Oops. And for this one, I'm going to use a red. 
a vibrant red nice and this i'm gonna use a darker red maybe a burgundy something a little more darker this one i think i'm gonna use a light blue no those are too dark i think i'm gonna use the top one here yeah i like this one i like this one so i'm gonna use this light blue and for this one i just want to fix this a bit i want to make this color a bit different uh, maybe not. I think I'm just going to stick to like an orangey yellow for this bottom one. Something like this. Perfect. And so for the body, I want a black. And for this wing, I wanted green. But I don't think I wanted a green like this. I think I want to make it a bit darker. So I'm going to just make it a little bit darker. Here we go. I like that. It stands out, but it also blends in. And I think it really works. So for the rest, the tail, I think I'm going to use a darker blue, maybe something in the tail here. Yes, I like that. But maybe we're going to make the middle one a bit of a different blue, maybe lighter, maybe something around here. Oops. And for the outer ones, we're going to make them just a bit darker as well. So it has a little bit more of a contrast, something about right here. I think I like that. Perfect. So just get that done perfect so you can see that this toucan is looking great I like it there's just one thing that's bothering me and it is the chest plate and the yellow in the face I want to make it a bit bigger and I think I want to do something where I overlap the chest area to overlap the wing just because if you can see in the bottom um, of our reference image as it's looking over, you can kind of see that the under of it, I, I don't know if birds have chins, but in the chin area of where a chin might be on a bird, you can see the yellow is kind of going over the back. And I think I like that kind of a look. So I'm going to try to do that here. And so we're going to do that with some yellow. Start to build the shapes together to make it all smooth. Make sure we get everything right and just this little spot in the middle and just a little part missing right there on the right i like this i really like this all right just these small spots let's get rid of the lines and i really like this so let's see this versus the one we had the original let's compare them i think i'm gonna go with the new one if you like the other one let me know in the comments and we could fight about it so I'm going to use that new one, the latest one, with the chest overlapping the wing. We're going to clean this up a bit. We're going to go in um, the Pathfinder right here, and we're going to just clean it up a bit. Perfect. And pretty much there we have it, guys. That is our toucan. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, we're a new channel here, and we could use the support. So more videos coming out, and see you then.